Here's our tale of the tape. Brock Jarvis, 23 years old, 19 and 0, undefeated. He's five foot nine, an inch taller than Alejandro Frias, but it will be Frias who has an inch and a half reach advantage. Todd Grisham, Sergio Mora, and Jessica the Caskilla McCaskill here ringside. Chris Mannix handling interview duties. Brock Jarvis in the solid black trunks. Alejandro Frias in black with the Mexican colors. Nice right hand by Jarvis. Jessica Chris Mannix seems to believe that Frias is going to put up a pretty good fight here against Jarvis. What do you think? Well, as a Mexican fighter, we know to go forward and never stop pressure. And with Jarvis being a pressure fighter as well, loving to get close, like you said, Sergio, loving to get to the body, it's going to be some fireworks. He's only been stopped two times, and most of those fights are to, uh, to undefeated fighters. Scheduled 4-10. Here at Chachansi Park. I've been told 12 different ways to pronounce this, Jessica. <laughs> what have you heard? What are you hearing on the street? I like Chick Chansey. Right. We're going to go with that. And the sun is blazing. Nice move right there. Good body oh, shot. Oh, that hurt him. You yep. can see him reach down, free us, take a deep breath, and those body punches are starting to pile up for Brock Jarvis. That hurt free us because he didn't see that coming. He got an angle. Jarvis oh, a nice got an right angle. hand, and he spun Jarvis for a second. Even when you get hurt as a fighter, though, you got to have poker face. You can't wince and let your opponent know that they got you. See, every punch comes at the same speed and power from Jarvis. So Frias is not, he's not surprised by anything. So he needs to switch up the tempo of the power and the speed of Jarvis. Oh, nice right hand and that sent Frias spinning underneath the top rope. A lot of power on display here in round one. Right here you see Brock Jarvis digging down to the body, but he got an angle on Frias. That's the reason he was able to catch him with that left hook. Smothering himself a little bit too much. And Jeff Fanick told him that. Get his distance. Frias right here coming back with his own counter shots of his own because he's not maintaining the distance. Frias has Jarvis's back against the ropes. Big right hand again for Frias. And this Mexican has rocked him. Jarvis up against the ropes. This is an, a disaster for the Australian. He's got to get out of there. He's trying to hold, trying to hold on to him, stop his punches. La Ranita, the frog, is rocking Jarvis. The ref is asking him to show him something. He's got to do something fast. What an upset this would be. And Jarvis punching back, doing the right thing. Ooh, his legs are wobbly. This is only the second round. Jarvis might want to take a knee here before the referee stops it. The doctor's up on the first rope as well. Let's see, Jarvis has never been in this kind of trouble before. Sergio, what's he's he doing his, wrong? He's out on his feet, he's not holding on, and I think Frias is up. He's on the brink of stopping him right here. One Jarvis, more punch. This is incredible, Frias. They didn't even list odds for this fight in Las Vegas. It would have had to be at least 10 to one. Frias Jarvis. has got to be careful not to outpunch himself here. If Jarvis is going to come back, he's going to have a good chance to tire him out. It looks like Jarvis weathered the storm. If he can come back, Frias actually got winded right there. So this is a good opportunity for Jarvis to get his licks in. I think Jarvis just needs to back out, survive the round. He's got 11 seconds left. What a moment here for Alejandro Frias. These guys are going for it. Every punch is power punches. And what part on Brock Jarvis. Incredible action, and Jarvis survives. Jarvis never been knocked down. Obviously, it hasn't lost. Coming off a six-round K over win over Nort Beauchamp back in April. You know, yesterday after the weigh-ins, Brock didn't look that great. He was sitting in the shade by himself. Maybe had a hard weight cut. Not sure, but he seems to be at least back now better than he was. He's a big super featherweight. I mean, he's tall, he's muscular, and you can see that he has a lot of power, but right now, this is the style that, that he learned. This is the style that he learned from his idol and Jeff Fennick, but it might serve him well to get distance oh. and fight behind the jab, fight a little taller if you're Brock Jarvis. 
And there goes Frias again as he backs the Aussie off him. See, for Jarvis, it defeats the purpose that he's he's strong, he's tall, he's wide, he's he's powerful if he's in the inside fighting the smaller man's fight. This gives Orlando Frias an equal chance in, in size and in power and fighting in the inside. But this is the style that Oh, Jeff and a nice straight right hand by Jarvis and follows it up with a left hook. Frias eats another one. And how much did that second round take out of Frias, who unloaded on Jarvis? Yes, Mundo, 10 seconds. Jarvis turns the orthodox to southpaw by switching his feet and punching from different angles, just like that. Combination. Yeah, you can tell the foundation is back for Jarvis. His legs were gone. You see his punch, punch selection. He's going to the head and the body in the same combination, and that's going to open that fighter up. I would love for him to double down on the left hook to the body. He gets that one powerful one, but Frias is expecting that first one. The second one he won't be expecting. This may be a battle of conditioning. Which fighter is in better shape as these rounds continue? Hellacious pace so far in this phone booth fight. Did Frias' moment pass him by? I think that opportunity has come and gone. They've swapped places on the ropes. First Jarvis was on the ropes, now he's got Frias on the ropes, and it doesn't look like he's coming off anytime soon. Now you see Jarvis doubling up on that left hook. That caught Frias off guard, caught him with the overhand right right there. And Frias immediately backs up against the ropes. That doesn't seem to be a wise strategy, does it, Sergio? No, it does not. And Jarvis squares up on the inside, which gives an opportunity for Frias to land his own body shots and uppercuts. And here you're going to see the school of Jeff Fennick on the inside with those uppercuts and those body shots. Head on the opponent's chest and shoulders, not relenting. Those uppercuts are doing their damage on Alejandro Frias. Right now, Frias, to me, Sergio, looks like a beaten man. He does look like a beaten man, but I'll tell you what, in the, in the corner of, of Brock Jarvis, they kept insisting he breathes. So I, I don't know if he's uh, breathing heavy or or maybe hasn't been this, this tired in a while because he's used to taking fighters out. Digging downstairs is Jarvis. He's still got pop in those punches. Okay, stop, stop. That's it, that's it, that's it. And they're going to stop it. Brock Jarvis was moments away from having the fight stopped in Frias' favor. Now it's stopped in his favor. Disaster averted for the young Australian. And this is exactly what's going to make him a better fighter. I mean, this, this is what you want to see out of a young prospect that's used to having so many knockouts on his resume. How's he going to react once he gets that chin check? He almost was out, but he wasn't. And that's what's going to make him a better fighter in the long run. On the inside right here, this is exactly what Jeff Fennick was so great at. He was on the inside. He just mauled opponents, didn't let him breathe. Head in the chest, like Jessica was saying. Uppercuts and body shots. Brock Jarvis got away from it here, but I would love to see him get some distance. Big right hand that he has. Set that up with jabs. Be patient. Use your size advantage. Use all those angles. And that, that's how you can get out of these fights without getting so much damage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ed Coyantes calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and four seconds of round number five. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated. And the new IBF Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, Brock Jarvis.